the Master Plan on ASEAN Connectivity 2025 aims to secure a brighter future for the people of ASEAN. In the area of regulatory excellence and harmonizing regional standards, we will create an environment that better enables ASEAN to achieve sustained economic growth. For integration to take place, you need people movement, you need services to flow across the region. Strengthen regulatory excellence is for the countries to agree on adopting a common framework. Having a harmonized and a uniform set of regulatory standards will be good for the ASEAN uh, businesses. And the other objective, of course, related to it is to reduce what is known as non-tariff measures or barriers. Despite considerable progress, there remains significant non-tariff trade barriers within ASEAN. The master plan lays out a strategy to address this challenge. It will increase transparency on such barriers and strengthen the evaluation of non-tariff measures by building on the ASEAN Trade Repository. The development of a trade regulation database will allow us to see how trade is regulated throughout ASEAN, help us access non-tariff trade barriers in greater detail and work towards removing these constraints on ASEAN trade. By bringing down barriers, we open up ASEAN to higher quality growth. In our SEZs, we have got a lot of non-tariff barriers that have been tremendously reduced uh, in many ways. One example is uh, the licensing systems. These licensing systems were never practiced in our SEZ. There is no price controls uh, in our SEZ and there is a level playing field that is fully assured by the law and there's no discrimination between foreign investors and domestic investors. Another example is we have established one-stop service centres at the SEZ and developed standard operating procedures to have the predictable environment for investors. The master plan will accelerate harmonisation of standards and regulations within ASEAN by enhancing coordination between public and private stakeholders and promoting good regulatory practices. That means that products which comply with regulations in one ASEAN country will also comply with regulations in all other ASEAN countries. This will greatly improve the ease of doing business. And the easier it is to do business, the easier it is to invest in ASEAN. À, đặc biệt để thúc đẩy cái, cái cái công tác xuất nhập khẩu giữa các Việt Nam và các nước ASEAN à, trong thời gian qua và thời gian sắp tới đấy, thì chúng tôi cũng đã à, chủ động à, có cái sự kết nối à, các một cỡ một cửa ASEAN mục đích là những cái thông tin của các doanh nghiệp có thể là là thay vì phải tìm hiểu qua cái thủ tục thủ công thì chúng ta có thể trực tiếp tìm hiểu cái cổng thông tin một cửa ASEAN này đó là vấn đề là thế quan à, mà các nước đã ký kết thì sẽ được à, giảm làm làm như vậy thì cái lượng hàng hóa của các nước ASEAN nó sẽ thúc đẩy và tạo thuận lợi hơn nữa à, trong cái thời gian tương lai tương lai. Harmonized regulation will have significant positive impacts on the micro, small and medium-sized enterprises at the heart of ASEAN's economy. It will improve transparency across borders, allowing even the smallest enterprise to trade efficiently over multiple territories, providing an environment that businesses in the region can thrive. Through all this, the Master Plan on ASEAN Connectivity 2025 will increase transparency, harmonize regulations and provide a stronger framework for economic collaboration in ASEAN. Working together towards a better, connected ASEAN.